Dan Gallery in Tel Aviv recently held an exhibition entitled English Education. The four exhibiting artists who all started in England were influenced by the multifaceted and often subversive British culture. Artist Peter Jacob Maltz explains. The show is about the influence the English uh, or the British education had on our art. The work actually brings together this kind of English look, a very classic look, with the day-to-day -day kind of slinging of the towel on, on something classic. The curator, Ravit Harari, thought it might be an interesting idea looking at the English culture from a distant way, from an Israeli point of view, the element of maybe the decadence of the 19th century, this kind of feeling of maybe something that's broken down, if it's the fragility of glass and mirror, or on a conceptual level maybe the idea of a shattered culture, a culture that's going through a change, that's kind of transformed into something else. Behind me are two uh, pieces from a series of four pieces. The uh, name of this series is Looking at My Grandma's Mirror and they are actually in different times of the day. The mirror is an original mirror which I copied and then I changed the shape. Technically you can see I made a cast, I actually sliced it and reconnected the shapes to create this kind of maybe a, a, a feeling of a broken mirror or a fragmented mirror, or a mirror where the light hits in a different way. We found this is uh, something that the English know to do very well. Take tradition and twist it, evolve it into something new. This is the most uh, complex one. This is at the night, uh, where the mirror kind of really goes crazy. There's a kind of shattered mirror. The light is slung on and shining, reflecting in a different way. My grandma, in this case, uh, was an obvious choice because for me she represented the most English lady uh, possible. <laughs> Sculpting is a, is a very, very important part of my art. In Betalel I started to sculpt and uh, then in the Royal College I actually did an MA in sculpture and I also teach sculpture. But in fact I also uh, draw quite a lot and I uh, publish books with my drawings, I also write. Generally I would say I'm an artist who, or a person that sees himself as uh, uh, documenting his journey. English art, when it comes to sculpture, actually emphasized the idea of shape and form. If it's Henry Moore, for instance, uh, who developed shapes and this kind of tradition of sculpture has continued uh, at least a hundred years of the search for new shapes and I'm continuing continuation in some sense of this kind of exploration of shapes and forms. Mm -hmm.